All right, it's time to have a chat about Jonathan Drouin. And I know I spoke about him briefly in the latest Habs News update video, but since then, there's been a few more things that have come to light. You see, our boy, Drouin, he had some spare time, he kicked his feet back, and he decided to, you know, yap to the media a little bit. And I gotta say, while this guy does seem pretty optimistic about his health and the future, <laughs> I'm a little skeptical, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Right after, of course, we watch Arbor Jakai beat this random kid up and take his lunch money. Because that's the kind of stuff I feel like watching right now. Give it to him! Okay, so, now that we got that out of our system, it's time to get back to Mr. Drouin. And as you're all aware, this guy has had some pretty shitty luck when it comes to his wrists. I'm pretty sure he's now had multiple surgeries on those bad boys, both wrists. And I don't know if any of you guys watch Stranger Things, but Drouin is probably beginning to feel like Vecna just picked him up into the air and did that snap, crackle, pop thing with his hands. It's not good. I mean, in 2018, 2019, this guy managed to put up 18 goals during that season. He also added 35 assists, giving him 53 points to match his career high. And only a couple years before that, check it out. He potted 21 goals as a member of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Scoring goals wasn't a problem. Things were actually looking good for Drouin and the Habs during 2019. And then, unfortunately, that's when things, you know, they took a turn for the worst. He started having some injury troubles. Alexander Ovechkin basically murdered him. And the guy's wrist decided to frig off. We've seen a dramatic turn of events when it comes to production. I mean, in his last three seasons, if you tallied up every single goal, you get a grand total of 15. 15! In three years! Ugh! It's not good. His goal scoring abilities really plummeted during the 2020 season when he finished up with just two goals in 44 games. And I mean, at that point, we all knew something was wrong. Some little thing was not right. Fast forward to 2022, and Drouin would have yet again another surgery on his wrist in the month of April. And he kind of went under the radar since then, okay? At one point, you were more likely to see Bigfoot than Drouin. The guy was hiding out. He was laying low. He had a kid. He was probably on diaper duty and all that good stuff. You know how it is. And then all of a sudden, this month, August rolled around, and there he is. Little Johnny is back in action. He's trying to get back into game shape. He's been playing some road hockey. He's been playing some ice hockey. And here's the update the guy gave just like a couple of days ago on his current situation and how he's feeling. Here we go. Quote, it feels good to play hockey for real and not just skate around for two to three months. Rehabilitation was great. Unfortunately, because it happened to my other wrist, I kind of knew what to expect. I think I owe a lot to the Canadian's medical team. I guess he's talking about Kirby Doc. And then this is where it gets interesting. He admits that he's got to change things up within his game. He said he doesn't think his wrist will ever be the way it was. That's just part of the business. And he said there's times it's a little stiffer than others. That's what she said. Now, anyway, now, I can't speak for everyone, but it doesn't really sound all uh, that good. It doesn't sound promising. I think it's going to affect this game. I mean, it has to when you really think about it. And uh, the more and more that I hear about Drouin, the happier that I am that he's not signed to some big, stupid contract. This upcoming season is actually his last year on his current contract. And while he also made some nice comments about playing under Marty St. Louis this season, I don't know why but something tells me him and the canadians are about to part ways this season something tells me it's done i personally don't think he's going to be back next season but i could be wrong just as i've been saying i think Drouin is going to be trade bait at the upcoming trade deadline unless of course Vecna gets a hold of him again and, you know, starts snap crackling and popping more bones. He's got to keep healthy. He's barely played over the past few seasons. And if he can somehow stay healthy right up until the trade deadline, man, ching, ching. Some other team could swoop in and drop a nice little prospect or a pick or both into the hands of Papa Bear Jeff Gordon and his Cub Kent Hughes. Now, let's get some more Arby in here before I close this off. Look at him go. Give it to him. 
But anyway, let me know what you think of Drouin's current status. Do you think he's going to get offered another contract by Montreal? Or do you think he's going to get traded? And do you ever think he could possibly hit maybe 15 goals ever again in his career? Or have you lost all hope? I want to hear all about it. Don't forget to give the like button a stone cold stunner on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.